Hi, Stephen from Mona Disown. So uh, the way I test laptops and show my uh, gaming performance is typically I use a camera pointed at my notebook screen. And the reason why I do that is because I always felt that, uh, you know, it'd give a 100% uh, accurate representation of what I see. And of course it does. Now, of course, some people use a, a screen capturing software to show it. And, you know, that does look neater. And of course, many YouTubers use that method. And I have been asking you, why do I do it this way? So um, I wanted to set out and say, do we actually take a, a performance impact by using uh, some screen uh, capturing software? So I, I tested Bandicam and Shadowplay, two fairly popular uh, screen capturing softwares. And I actually did my testing on this uh, 17 inch notebook here with a, you know, it's got a powerful one. It's an i7-8700K desktop CPU and a GTX 1080. And uh, so I did most of my tests on this. And I did do one test on a 13-inch uh, AOS X3V7 with a, uh, it's a quad-core CPU and a GTX 1060. Let's uh, take a look and see what we got. First up, we have Shadow of the Tomb Raider, DX12, 1080p highest settings. Now the camera recording, of course, is, uh, is the fastest. It's about two to three frames per second faster than Shadow Play, uh, which is fairly close, but Bandicam trails a pack by quite some margin. So the end result, about 2% difference between the shadow play and the camera and a whopping 10% with Bandicam. Next up, we have Far Cry 5, 1080p ultra settings. Uh, so this time, shadow play trails the camera a little bit more, probably around about 5 FPS, whilst the Bandicam trails it even further. This time the camera is 5% ahead of shadow play and 15% ahead of Bandicam. Moving on to Rainbow Six Siege, uh, shadow play is you know about two, two to three frames per second behind uh, the camera, whilst Bandicam is again probably around about seven FPS. And indeed, shadow play is about 4% uh, behind the camera and Bandicam about 18% behind. Finally, Rise of the Tomb Raider on the Aorus X3 V7 with a 4-core CPU and a GTX 1060 GPU. And typically, the lower the power of the system, the more overhead there would be if you're using software to capture the footage. And I would expect the difference in FPS to be larger here. And certainly, if you use a weaker system, the difference will be even bigger. And indeed, the difference here is higher. It's about 7%. All right, so as you can see, the, uh, of course, the camera is the most accurate. So with that being like the, the baseline, um, that is uh, about 4% faster than using Shadow Play. And Shadow Play actually did a reasonable job, of course. But when you step down to a, you know, a lower spec computer, that you know, more system resources will be used running that software. And on that uh, AOS X3, that uh, then went up to 7%, so that was a bit more of an impact. Now, Bandicam was the worst of the bunch. You know, I was looking at about a 13% deficit from uh, the, the, the camera, or 9% even from, uh, from Shadow Play. So 
Bandicam, I do not recommend to use. And of course, there's other software out there which but might have various uh, hits as well, of course. So, but to conclude, you know, I think I'll still maintain using a camera pointing at the screen because that is what you're going to get the best results. And, uh, you know, if that's what I'm about, I want to show you accurate information. Anyway, thanks for watching. Remember, like, subscribe if you're new to my channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye.